Hi Virgo Collective, how are y'all doing today? Very good, I hope. I'm doing well. I got another shipment of cards from today. I feel so spoiled. <laughs> I was telling the um, Gatekeeper 99 channel that <clears throat> um, the Timu app has cards on it for like $5 and less. They don't come with books or anything, but um, if you're looking to just check out some new cards, it's really kind of a cool spot. I literally, since I found that site, I've gotten so much stuff off of it because everything's like less than five dollars. And I haven't. The only thing I didn't like was the um, tea light candles. They were like half full, but everything else has been great. Like um, these tapestries I use, I get for like five bucks too. Pretty cool, pretty cool site. Anyways, I thought I'd mention that to y'all if you wanted to check it out. Um, it's not a, I'm not, it's not an advertisement, but it is a good place to go if you're into, um, if you're into getting good deals. This was who isn't, but man, the stuff is quality. I'm telling you, it's. I haven't been too disappointed yet. All right, so what are we getting here? We got new moon in Aquarius, bring love into the situation. Oh gosh, is this gonna be another love reading? You and your loved ones are safe, new moon in Cancer. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay, it's safe to love. You're protected <clears throat> in this cycle. What I'm hearing is this cycle that you've gone through where you've been under attack, like constant attack <clears throat> is coming to an end with the full moon. I don't know when that is. Or it was the last full moon. I feel like a lot of that attack mode was squelched with the last full moon. Be bold and make the first move. Cancer or Cardinal Moon. These are the moonology cards I just got. They're kind of neat. Emotions are running high. Super Moon. We just had one of those. We're about to have another one too at the end of the month. I think the 30th is the next full moon, actually. <clears throat> um It looks like you're about to start something that you're passionate about. Um, and this is saying just to be bold and to go for it. It's time to take action. Yeah, new moon in Aries. All right, so there's some kind of action the universe wants you to take. And it looks like it's in love. It could be love of anybody, but we'll clarify. With some tarot. Um, let me try these ones. There's some Egyptian tarot cards I got off Timu. You've been working on loving yourself, bringing that in, making sure that your loved ones are safe. Nine of Cups. You've been using your intuition to guide you. Strength and your strength to overcome any challenge that's placed in front of you. You're not, you, you have no fear. Um, you have no fear about you and your loved ones being safe. All right. Clarify the end of a tough cycle approaches. And we get 
Five of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, this feeling of being left out in the cold and not having anywhere to turn to or any anywhere or anyone to turn to, that is coming to an end as of um, last full moon or this upcoming full moon. We get Ace of Cups. So, the universe is asking you to be bold when it comes to um, love. Clarify emotions are running high. Four of Cups. That is not Ace of Cups. That is a Knight of Cups. Oh, okay. So, that's like somebody that is offering love. Um, boldly offering love. This is either coming towards you or this is something you are planning. Um, possibly you're offering love to somebody who has rejected your love in the past. Um, three of Cups. Possibly there is some kind of a third party interference either with uh, another lover or their family. And that is the Queen of Cups. But they see you as their queen. <clears throat> they see you as a uh, wife material, husband material, sorry, queen or king. Could be either way. It's just energy. But they see you as a very loving heart, somebody who gives a lot of love to themselves and others. Here's that Ace of Cups. Unconditional love. Clarifying emotions are running high. This person has a ton of love for you. And it's genuine. And it's pure. It's pure-hearted love. And there's a dove there. It's peaceful. It's going to bring peace. And Ten of Cups. It's going to bring a happy family. Happily ever after. Possibly you will have children with this person. Um, clarify it's time to take action. Five of Cups. Yeah, it's time to, um, let go of anything that made you cry in the past. All those, um, broken hearts and whatnot that you've had in the past. It's just time to let it go. Universe is asking that you let it go. So that you can, um... Be ready for this evolved love relationship. All right, let me, um, since it's a love reading again, let me grab some Situation Love Oracle. We'll get clarity with this. Every reading, I'm telling you. I just can't get away from it. It's all about love. Love's coming in for the collective. Love is coming in. What can you do? soulmates soul connection partnership soul contract life partner yeah this is your soulmate clarifying six of cups <laughs> this is your soulmate coming in or that you're headed towards girl with a snake unarmed or sorry charmed or used Enable boundaries. Yeah, this person has been betrayed, severely betrayed in the past. And it looks like they're still getting over it. Nine of 
not enough. Um, lacking confidence, self-sabotage, ego and fear, and frustrations. This is what's holding them back right now. Their lack of self-confidence. Mirror. Mirroring each other. Self-reflection. Introspection. Inner wounds. So you're mirroring each other right now. The best you can do is take really good care of yourself. That in itself helps to take care of this person. Seduction, attraction, teasing, hooking up and date, third party, temptation. Yeah, this is what took them away from you in the past. And this is what they were seduced and drawn away from you. And this is what they ended up with as a snake. I'll get one more from this deck. Or two. The butterfly. Evolving and breath. Next phase. Healing. Inner child. Releasing the past. Oh, sorry. Evolving and growth. I can't read this italic writing. Evolving and growth. So that is what they are doing right now. They're evolving and they're hiding their true feelings from you. All right. Let me pull... Let's pull a couple love messages. What do they want to say to you? Ghosted. I'm sorry I disappointed. I'm sorry I disappeared. I needed to get away and clear my head. Lost. I feel lost without you. I'm leaving. I'm ready to leave a situation or mindset that has not served me and hindered my growth. Your perfection. Your beauty amazes me. I'm not sure how I attract in someone like you. How? I'm not sure how I attracted in someone like you, but I'm forever grateful. Those words don't make sense to me, but yeah. They think you're perfect. Father wounds. My father is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges with connecting to the divine masculine energy within me and externally. Yeah, they're doing healing work. Let's get a couple more messages. Mother wounds. My mother is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges with connecting to the divine feminine energy within me and externally. Ooh, this person's really gone through it with both of their parents. Run away. Would you pack a bag and meet me in Hawaii? I just want to get away from the world and be alone with you. Uh, yeah, they really just want to get away from you and not have to deal with all this. <clears throat> um resistance and friction from the world and everybody let me just pull an animal card and then we'll cut this all right leopard Stealth, strength, purity. Leopards are phenomenal hunters, known for stealth and ability to stalk prey. The snow leopard, which lives in the mountains of Central Asia, is among the most mysterious of the species and was believed to have drawn the blood of its human victims without eating the flesh. By feeding on the life force, blood, and avoiding weakness, flesh, the leopard was thought to maintain its strength and purity. So you're both working on purifying yourselves right now. And um, 
you know, watching what you're taking in, like energy wise, um, food, alcohol, all that drugs, alcohol, all that stuff. Um, you're both just working on purifying your energy, your thoughts, all that. All right, Virgo Collective, I hope that helped. I will get back to you very soon. Have a wonderful day.